guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to since day one before we get into this video today about mo3 as well as charleston white and also today we have an attendance trap boy freddy as well as yellow beezy and last but not least we have fredo bang and nba young boy and before we get into this video today you guys go ahead and like the video comment down below and if you are new smash that subscribe button to take flight with us fake love i don't need it you can keep it that's a fact I, I had to make up my mind my mind Charleston White is currently trending in these social media streets, you guys, because of an altercation that he got into it with concerning Yellow Beezy as well as Trap Boy Freddy, who are very known for allegedly being the ones who got the rapper Mo3 knocked off. I'm not really sure of the details on what transpired to make Charleston White feel as if he had to defend himself against Trap Boy Freddy as well as Yellow Beezy, you guys, but let's go ahead and get into this next clip so we can see what had happened. Let that nigga know. Let that know. A hundred nigga, then I'm by myself. Make this nigga look like a nigga got your mouth, nigga. In just 10 days earlier, you guys, Charleston White just did an interview with Yellow Beezy on Say Cheese TV, and they even mentioned Mo3, you guys, lots of times. The interview was long as heck. I mean, almost two hours and 50 minutes, y'all. Yeah, no, I'm way worse than Mo3. And gave me a reason to start back liking Mo3 again. Yeah, now I'm gonna flip flop again. I was just sitting with Yellow Bees, me and Trap Boy Freddy done that mother interview, and I've been dissing Mo3. Now I'm back with Mo3. Mo3 had all them sad niggas running and scared. Wrapped about it, yeah, if nigga went and got my. Get up, get up, stand up like a man. Look, sit up, I'm sticked up, what? got the drop on my eye. And I'm like, which one? What? Yeah, I'm lit up. Yeah, bro, split up. What? They had to click up. Fuck. After I hit up on boy on my mama, we got my dick sucked. Yeah. Up after I shot your truck up. Yeah, you know ass nigga done run me hot now. And he ain't gonna be in the next movie, neither. Yeah, he just fucked off his chances now. He back to being a local motherfucking joker that only get to perform when a rapper come to stay. He ain't big no work. He can't rap <laughs> worth shit. Yellow the beads you got with Lil Wayne, straight bull trash. If I'm a tunchy, I'd tell him take me off that mother. Yellow the beads you got, man, straight booty trash. Man, it's a bullshit song. I got mad. Talking about rappers in his mouth. <laughs> fuck y'all hood. And I told you to fuck your hood to your face, boy. Every last one of you niggas looked out, touch trap boy Freddy. Fuck your hood. I told you that nigga that to your face. And you hold Froze stiff like a girl in a mother caught in his head, like caught that. Talking about going in my mouth, it still ain't hit me in the mouth. You gotta catch me sleep or from behind, but face to face, made all you trap boys, and I'm gonna press charges on you. Cause one thing I know, trap boy Freddie, you just got out on federal probation. You can't have no run in with the law. I got your name on the report number as a making the threats. It's called in concert to two or more committing crimes together in the state of Texas. One committed a crime. It's, it's called a concert. Y'all are in concert to threaten to do bodily harm to a disabled elder. Damn fools. Ah, Y'all don't let the internet character trick you stupid motherfuckers again. Huh? Y'all got me. I've been going to the club every week with no motherfucking problem. Get number love and soon as these with Trap Boy Freddy, cause they in the gang of niggas, cause these niggas can't walk by themselves like unk unk walking by his mother with no mother security and running until you dissing your hood like I diss it on the motherfucking internet. And what you niggas do? Go to putting up dresses. So I raise up them dresses and go to exposing your nigga clitoris, nigga. making that whole release out of you. I tell you, let that hoe go. Nigga. Let that, I heard. I nothing about trap boy freddy or yellow beezy responding to charleston what y'all think charleston white outside by himself trap boy freddy and his crew play cool with him and try to set him up for the weenie dog challenge they tried the weenie dog um, and got their mother 
that weenie dog. Yeah, they, they don't know I'm really a little tough, little low, thoroughbred old nigga. They tried to weenie dog on, and they got weenie dog. A crew full of these niggas. Yeah, nigga, and I'm by myself away, nigga. You see, I hate a group of niggas. Coward ass nigga. Coward running back. I hate a group of niggas. Yeah, yeah, they tried to weenie dog me. Man, I'm having them up. I'm clean in the mother. You man, I'm clean in a bitch, man. Them niggas, cause I'm sexy red in town. I'm for the, you know, we already been messing these men. I'm finna pull up on this, we for talk in my mind. Man, this bitch ass. Yeah, we got to look at this trap. Wherever we see each other, we got to look at this trap. Yeah, you got to look at the old man, trap boy. So come on, nigga. Come on, trap boy, Fred. I ain't, I ain't no backing out of this. You went and got your crew. You had your crew last night. I done went and got my crew. Now, my crew versus your crew. Old nigga versus young nigga. Now, I done diss your dead homies. I diss your set. I done diss your hood. And I disrespected you in your face. Gloves up now. It's the best time to show the culture. Me and you go do it regardless. Wherever I see you, we got to punch. Ain't no discussion. We got to punch. We finna show these young niggas how to really squash beef. You done went and got your crew. I disrespected your crew. Y'all chased me to the police. Now, I got my crew, and we want to look at you. So y'all let Trap Boy Freddy know. Y'all let Trap Boy Freddy know. Let me call Say Cheese TV right now. A Say Cheese TV sponsored event. His crew against my crew. He done went and got it. Me and Trap Boy Freddy got a punch. I got the glove. I don't give a damn where we at. We got the fight. Listen, he done got his crew. Them two talking about they go go in my mouth. I done went and got my crew. The old niggas versus the middle age. Guns down. Guns down. This, uh, this is a real punching event. Man. This is a real punching event. No bullshit. I done already dissed this dead homie. The one most free everything online. Call him and tell him he got to fight me. I don't give a damn word. He and his crew got to punch my crew. Crew versus Mo 3 swear so, by God he did. I'm just asking all the right shit now. Yeah, Mo, I swear, nigga, after I shot up your truck, I went and got my... He swear by God he did. So, do, do you... Is that cap, you think? I feel like a lot of shit kept. I don't, I don't know who but, shot me though, but nah, it ain't had nothing to do with that. So you think somebody else was beef? You was beef with somebody else wanted to? I don't know what the motor was. So you fucking that many niggas hoes, basically. Well, well, uh, uh, well, well check, check this out, homie. This, 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 this what, uh, this what really got me one time. When the white boy went to fucking with him. That white boy, he fit out the shoot. Uh, like the yeah, white boy yeah, talking yeah. about he, he, he fought in TDC. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below, you guys. Y'all know that I'm always going to rep Mo3, but let me know what y'all think about the situation. Well, moving along, just a couple of days ago, Fredo Bang was trending on Twitter, you guys, because an NBA Youngboy affiliate that goes by the name of NBA Pap, I believe, had gotten released from incarceration, you guys, after only getting five years for the unaliving of the rapper G Money. And what was crazy to me, y'all, was he got right out, got on Instagram Live, and started listening to NBA Youngboy Survivor. Or whatever the song is called, YB got so many. Living like a rough rider, stay like the muffin pilot. He came back like a survivor. Yeah, he came back. He got the press, he thought he gave it up. He came back like a survivor. Yeah, he came back like a survivor. <laughs> Top shot him, I paid up. Living like a rough rider. He came back like a survivor. Yeah, he came back like a survivor. Yeah, he been out of love, so he can never trust. He came back like a survivor. I'm wondering y'all is if Fredo Bang is gonna slide for G Money like he slid to NBA Young Boys Never Broke Again Toy Drive a few years back. Hey, I know it's hard times out here, so you know we trying to help y'all out, make sure y'all kids have something for Christmas. We also missing a lot of rappers in the city and rap labels. Uh Trillion T, Mouse on the Track, Webby, uh Boosie, Level. We need all y'all rappers pull up and pass one toy out, you hear me? Don't be too gangster for the kids, you feel me? No, 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 no. Gucci I got tired of eating Big Mama's chicken. Now, now it's business when I walk. 